Hi there, James here. Welcome back to another video. As you probably know, if you've been a long-term subscriber, in addition to making scale model kits, I am a massive Iron Man geek. I've got quite a few here, as you can see, um, from the display shelf, not to mention the big uh, Mark 43, I think it is, um, version I've got on the desk as well. So I'm a big fan. So I was really excited the other day when I found out that Diagostini are releasing a Build Your Own Iron Man Mark III set. Um, it's one of those jobs you pay so much for a subscription, you get a couple of episodes and a couple of um, articles and magazines sent out to you each month. But most importantly, you get to build all the parts up for a massive 60 centimeter tall Iron Man Mark III. So this is the same company that made the uh, massive Millennium Falcon, they do an R2-D2, an Ecto-1, a Terminator. Um, I haven't got time to sort of look at all the different versions, but for things like that, check out World of Way, and he does a lot of these sort of stuff. But um, I really wanted to get hold of the sample one, not only because it's 99p, included um, with the pack and various bits and pieces, but most importantly, you get to build a Iron Man helmet like this so this is all the parts that come with the very first pack so it's absolutely fantastic um it's part metal part plastic um and i'm currently going to go off to um got someone getting some batteries for me because once you get the batteries lit up his helmet lights up i mean all of this for 99p so i thought that's got to be worth um investing in so um i had a look at their website and um unfortunately They've run out of stock, so it's only available in about um, 10 or so different uh, cities, across, cities across the United Kingdom. Um, no one is near me apart from in London, which is a bit of a shame. But um, a very kind guy I know through various model groups called Nia Forrester and his very kind wife went to get me one in the evening and posted it to me and it arrived on Friday. Um, so I put it together on Friday night and I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of um, firstly the website so you can have a look. You can put them on order to get hold of one of these, which I'll come on to in a sec, um, and to put your name down to get them in the post, but also so you can see what um, you actually get in the pack if you do get manage to get hold of one. So let's pop over to their website so you can have a quick look. So as I said, it's Diagostini. Here's the URL you can see up at the top here. Um, and yeah, it's Build Your Own Iron Man. It's all licensed, it's easy assembly. You don't need anything more than basically a screwdriver, which is absolutely amazing that comes with it. Um, and it builds up into Iron Man Mark III. So, you get to have a look at here. So you've got light up parts, light effects with reactor hand pulses and thruster boots. It's accurate paint detail. I'll come on to the painting again in a sec because I think it's one of the best parts to be brutally honest. Um, highly detailed at the back you can see some of the air flaps for when he's flying and engaged to those F-22s in the film. Um, 52 articulated joints, so you can probably move him around. I wouldn't say he's a full-on action figure, but um, you're going to be able to pose him as much as you want. And look at the back of those amazing boots. Um, a bit more information about his adventures. There's some cool information in the comic, which we'll come on to in a sec. And here we go. Yeah, so 60 centimetres tall with a weight of 5 kilograms. So that's pretty, pretty sizable. You know, considering that some of the... Um, Sideshow and uh, Hot Toys toys go for several hundred, hundred pounds... This is kind of in the same sort of ballpark because I think while this is a trial, um, I think if it's sort of like a four, five, six, seven, eight pounds, we'll find out below um, every couple of issues. It's going to rapidly add up because these things take a long time to get through. You can um, cough up an extra bit of money, an extra one pounds and get a display pace um, with a ceremonial stick up his bum to hold him in the right place. And then, yeah, here's some of the bits you get um, once you sign up. So. Order today and get these fabulous free gifts with the 12th delivery, crikey, you get a Iron Man branded power bank, that's quite exciting, an Iron Man cap for your 10th, an Avengers t-shirt for your 7th, a binder for your magazines and books for your 5th, and a set of 3 posters for your 2nd delivery. So let's crack over to an overhead so you can have a look and actually what's in, in, what you get in the pack. Right, so here you go, so as I said, Neil um, posted it to me the other day, it's very kind, um, man and his wife arranged to get a copy over to me so it didn't come in the original packaging let's get it in a box and i've subsequently taken everything out of the box and built the helmet as you've seen earlier which we'll come back to but this is all the parts that were included so you get this amazing discover the history of iron man bonus movie section build the iron man mark 3 armor magazine with some of the comic history it's great artwork great printing it basically runs through the story of how Tony Stark got captured, had a change of heart, and ended up escaping, building a more advanced Mark II armor, new arc reactor, where Ironmonger came along, building the Mark III, going up against his old mentor, Obadiah Stane, building of the Ironmonger suit, 
some information about the history of Iron Man it's from the comics, the Hostile Takeover. Fantastic looking at all this. And here we go, this is a good overview of what actually comes with the kit. So you get all the pieces for building up this Iron Man. You get a little LED light, two part battery pack, four packets of very, very tiny screws, which all are basically the same. So be very careful, don't lose those. Um, the back plate, the face plate, his neck, and this amazing screwdriver. I mean, that alone is worth 99p. It's a metallic screwdriver. It's magnetized. It's going to come in very handy. So yeah, huge fan of that. Stay. Um, and then assembly instructions. It is ridiculously complicated to actually do this on a camera. So I didn't bother to be honest with you. But yeah, it's slowly build it up and it comes together very well. Skip to page. So basically you put a plate together, put the battery pack in, put the white inserts for his lights, wire it all up bottom of his neck put the two together you turn it on by twisting his little sort of side round bit here annoying thing is it doesn't come with batteries but I've got a vague recollection you're not allowed to post batteries in the United Kingdom so maybe I'll just have to double check that but we've got some coming um, so I'll do follow up if we get enough interest in the video so that's what's included in part one of the magazine then you get some sign up bump this is what you can all get. So that's that power bank we saw on the website and binders and posters. And if you'd like to do all that, pretty straightforward. Fill in the details and post it back. So that's quite handy. What's coming in issue two? So issue two, we start building your left boot. So you get parts for the foot, which would be quite good. In reverse is just for information. Give it to your news agent. And then you do get this incredible poster. Now, we, I folded it out earlier. It comes out to, I think it's A1 in the United Kingdom size. So it's pretty big. So build your own Stark, Tony Stark legendary armor. On the back, you get a bit more information. Yeah, so you can see clearly painted, articulated joints, posable, these great flexibility movements. A bit more information about the assembly guide. Let's do that one first then. So you can see that here. This is where it all comes together. So the iron, the uh, arc reactor looks quite good. And look at that for the, the hand. It looks like sort of solid pieces, to be honest. Um, and then, yeah, some more information. Yeah, just to remind you, it's 60 centimetres tall, which is about the same sort of size as the big Darth Vader I've got downstairs. It would go very well together. And folding it all up, we've got a bit more exclusive gifts. We also get some secret history of the incredible heroes. This will come in various other pieces. And on the other side of that, it doesn't do it justice, but you get a whopping great poster of the man himself in one of those epic poses. So absolutely first rate. So I really cannot recommend this enough if you can get your hands on one it's absolutely amazing so coming at it from a proper model geek point of view yeah it's metal i mean that is a die cast full-on die cast metal piece um, and as i said yeah you turn the ultimately turn the lights on by twisting this back and forth yeah so you can get a bit of an idea for that the faceplate comes off it's magnetized here and here and that's where the battery pack goes. So you put the batteries in there and the lights shine through the back of this clear white piece. And then on the inside, there's a clear plastic insert that goes on there. So I'll put on some uh, close-ups now so you can have a look at the actual helmet. And just to add to this, from a model making point of view, and just to add to this, from a model making point of view, I have to say this paint job is absolutely amazing. I mean, it is absolutely incredible cherry red color metallic paint. It's hard as nails, although I don't want to push my luck. Um, but no, it's incredible. If the whole piece is going to be like this, this quality of paint, it's absolutely first rate. I mean, that is pretty epic, I have to say. 
could go full on detail. I mean, that there has got potential, that rivet mark has got potential to be a bit of panel wash in there. You could do that if you really wanted in some of the details when you're fully built, but that's just the model geek in me, but that's probably why you're watching because you are a bit of a geek. Um, so yeah, absolutely incredible. So Neil, thank you very much. It's all down to you and your wife and her amazing uh, packaging skills, but thank you so much for sending this over. If you can, anyone, get your hands on one of these, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I phoned up the D'Agostini helpline because I put an order through and I didn't get any confirmation emails, which this felt a bit unusual for me. Um, so I phoned them a couple of hours later, and unfortunately they haven't got any stock left and they don't know when they're going to get any more. Um, which is a bit worrying, but it is only a trial. So if you can get your hands on one, um, just don't hesitate, just grab one as soon as you possibly can and uh, I highly recommend it. And the helmet is, looks absolutely fantastic on the desk. I mean, that's just gonna go perfectly somewhere. Um, and also, I know it sounds a bit sad, but the fact that you get this amazing screwdriver as well is worth 99p. So that costs more than 99 pence to put together. So yeah, highly, highly recommended. Thank you so much, Neil, really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Have you got one? Have you managed to get one? If you're gonna bought two, put one in the cupboard, you're gonna let me know. Please, that would be great. And um, I'll speak to you soon and uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks. Bye-bye.